is more about producing because that's really what we do here uh, with musicsoftwaretraining.com and this Facebook group and obviously myself as a trainer. So what I wanted to talk about obviously is why quantity is more important than quality when you're producing music, especially when you're just beginning, right? A lot of people get they get into music production because they want, obviously, songs that other DJs that they respect are going to play. They want to see the audience react, if, you know, if they're DJs as well. They're going to want to see the, the DJs react to their song and play their song live and, you know, get the response. But the problem is most those songs that are being played are from producers that have produced, you know, at least a good 50 songs or whatever before they, like, really started to nail things down. Um, so for you to come with your first couple songs and expect that you're going to, you know, your production's just going to completely meet those standards is a little bit silly. So what a lot of people do that, um, really cripples creativity and productivity is they work on one song for ages and ages and ages because they refuse, they refuse to accept that that that's just as good as they are right now. That's as good as they are at, um, at production. You know, they're not better. You know, they're not exactly where they want to be because they're new. And your tracks are not going to be up to that level, you know. And the problem is, if you constantly focus on making things the same quality of the tracks that you're hearing, you're going to spend so much time on one song and you're not going to learn anything. The way you learn something is to run into certain uh, obstacles and then kind of overcome that obstacle a few times, a few times, and then pretty soon it's not an obstacle anymore, right? And you're able to push past it with your next songs. And also, as you're working on more songs, what you'll discover is that maybe by the time you get to your fifth or sixth or seventh song, you start going, oh, wow, I just discovered something that can make all my older songs a little bit better. So all these songs that you called finished because it was as good as you can get at the time, you could go back and within a day or something, you could like add just a couple little elements to these other songs that will like completely bring it to life, right? So that's another reason why I find it more important to just focus on the quantity of songs. Because if you focus on making a lot of songs, the quality will follow. So then you'll have both. You'll have both a lot of songs and better quality. Whereas if you focus on the quality, then what's going to happen is you're going to be so focused on being perfect that you'll never let a song be finished. And you'll never have gone through the challenges enough to overcome them. So you're constantly going to run into a wall with this one song. So one song might take you a year and you're still not going to be satisfied with it because what you don't understand is you need to look at the process of making music from loads of different perspectives and you're only going to get loads of different perspectives by working on loads of different songs, right? So um, let's see, I took a couple notes here. Yeah, try, so trying to make your song better than you currently are is basically going to actually keep you from finishing songs. And if you don't, you're not a song finisher, then no one, no one wants to sign a track that's not finished, right? No, one, no one's going to listen to a song that's not, not finished. Isn't it better that you start off with a relative amount of basic skills and you get a few people that like what you do and support what you do, and then they get to watch you grow. They get to watch you kind of build a career. And you just keep getting better and better and better. I mean, that's that's how a lot of bands are, you know. A lot of my favorite bands, their first album wasn't like their best quality album, technically. That doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, sometimes the first album is my favorite, even though technically the band gets better later. So you just never really know. That's another thing is if you get too close to your song, if you spend too much time on your song, you completely lose perspective on whether the song is any good or not. And you become afraid to share it because you are already sick of it, or someone else might really like it, right? Um, and so, yeah, basically, focusing on quality 
will put you into a situation where you're not finishing songs. And by not finishing songs, you're never going to get to the point of quality. It's just a vicious cycle, right? Um, and another thing that you need to keep in mind, too, is that you don't have to share every song you finish. You don't need to show everyone everything that you do. You know, you can release the ones that you are really happy with. But the goal here is that you get into the, the process and the habit of finishing songs. You don't need to worry about sharing them if you're not happy with them at the end. But then you could archive them. And like I said, you know, later on, you might discover some tips that'll make all those older songs better and releasable. Um, so then you got like this, this wider array of music that you can share. If someone says, hey, I like your, I like one of your tracks that you just did, um, or I liked a couple of your tracks you just did, do you have more? You can be like, yeah, actually, I've got some songs that, that I've got archived. You know, let me just touch them up and look at them and, you know, we can get them signed. And, you know, that's kind of how a lot of things have worked for me is I've just archived my finished songs, you know, when I got it as far as I could, you know, I had to call it finished. And then when I had the need for uh, songs to release on an EP or something like that, then I would just run through some of these older songs and realize that all I had to do was spend a day touching them up you know, or a couple of days, and they'd be good to go, right? Let's see. Uh, you come back for a couple hours to watch this. You're stuck at work. Hey, Matt. Always good to see you, Matt. I'm glad that you're showing up for these when you can. Um, let's see. What else? Um, yeah, basically, your issue is that you're afraid of sucking, but... That's ridiculous. If you're new to something, of course you're going to suck. You should have a better attitude towards sucking instead of trying to avoid sucking. You know, it's much better to just go, okay, we're going to do this. It's going to suck for a while and then I'm going to get better. You know, that's that's the way it works. You know, you can't walk into like a Kung Fu studio and ask for a black belt. You got to work your way up. You know, you got to start at a white belt. So you're going to just go, well, because I suck at karate or I suck at kung fu or whatever, I'm just not going to even bother, right? That's basically what happens. So that's the perfect example is like if you don't go from white belt and not being very good at all to black belt, then you're never going to get to black belt. So you will not, the, the quantity of your practice is what's going to give you the quality in the end, right? So something to really think about you know you really have to take this to heart um what else do we got here uh yeah i mean your attitude should be that i i let's fail and let's fail quick and let's fail forward and let's learn something every time i fail every time something doesn't come out the way i want you know that's an opportunity for me to reflect on it and then when i jump into the next song i finish one song i'm not completely happy with it but I put it aside. It's done. I start a new song like right away. I don't take too much time to get emotional about the last song. Um, and then I get my mind right back into the process. Finish that song, get my mind back into the process. And just that repetition and that habit, you end up making discoveries along the way. So you'd be really surprised how that works. Um I mean, you'd be at a complete loss if you were um, interested in classical music and your idol was Mozart, but you put yourself up against Mozart and you'd never written a classical piece in your life. Like, you would never, ever, ever get to any sort of level that you want to get if you're putting yourself up against someone that's not even attainable for experts, right? So, you know, what are you doing? What What is it that making you stop from just allowing yourself to be as good as you are right now, you know? Um, I'll leave you with, with two little things. One is a, a Bruce Lee quote. And Bruce Lee says, um, I don't fear the man that knows a thousand punches. I fear the man that has practiced one punch a thousand times. Think about the difference in the impact, right? If you just like 
don't learn something all the way through and you put it aside and then you start something else and you've just got all these unfinished things that you have started learning but it didn't carry it through um, you're not going to be very dangerous as you know if you're using your your skill as like a, a fighter of some sort right um, and then the second thing I wanted to leave you with is that John Lennon of the Beatles he hated his own voice so just imagine if he just wouldn't put anything out if he would have not put any of his songs out because he didn't like his voice because he was so focused on being as good as something that he had in his mind that he didn't even realize the the gift that he had himself right just move forward and don't be afraid and expect to fail expect to fall and what's going to happen is over time, people are going to discover what you really have to offer. And if you wait, then that's just longer that people are going to have to wait for your art to come out, if it ever does. Because usually when you hold back once, you start getting in the habit of holding back, the habit of holding back more and more. And pretty soon you're afraid to ever share anything. And that does not make you a music producer. So you'll have to stop telling people that that's what you want to be if you refuse to finish anything. So that's what I got for you today. Um, I hope that you get something out of this. I hope you don't feel I'm talking down to anyone because I, I'm talking from experience. I've been there, I've been really awful, and I've been pretty good. And then I have felt awful after feeling pretty good. Like I felt like, oh yeah, I've nailed it. And then you go into the next song or the next couple songs, and then you feel like you completely lost it. Um, this will happen too, you know? So it's just a matter of, you just keep pushing forward and, and stop being afraid of not being good, you know? You have the intuition to make good music, but you've got to allow it to come out over time. So that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Uh, there we go.